This video is on a Russian rally car with a gun strapped on top. The BT-7M. Time to channel the inner Russian. Shh. Shh. Daimler. Oh. Faster than a speeding bullet. Where are you going? That stabilized cannon. He's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, yeah, I thought that would happen. Okay. Where's the other guy? Where did you go, Stuart? Found you. <laughs> Russian bias. Oh, no. Hi. <laughs> this is my environment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> who are you? No. Wait a minute. Can I? <laughs> I wiped out that three man spot. <laughs> Who did this to my teammate? M22. Hello, child. Cease. No! No! <laughs> Hello, Privyet, and welcome back to the channel. This video is on the BT7M. Now, probably the M in BT7M means something mundane, like modernized, but we are just going to be calling it the BT7 Motorsport because it's got 500 horsepowers. As you can expect, this thing is an absolute flying machine, but it's not as fast as as you might think it is. The normal BT-7 has 400 horsepower, but they both have the exact same top speed. And as you can see, this guy right here is a little bit heavier. It will accelerate quicker, but top speed wise, uh, there's two trains of thought here. We could argue that at 2.0, this thing is pretty balanced, or we could suggest that Gaijin put it to 2.3, where it will do equally as fine, but give it scouting. Yes, this tank doesn't have scouting, even at 2.0. The other thing as well is, this is my opinion, so it's completely invalidated anyway, the BT-5 and BT-7, I would say, are very, very under-tiered. These things, I would probably put this BT-7 at 2.0 and it would be absolutely fine, and at this guy, maybe 1.3, even 1.7. They are silly fast, they have very good cannons, and they have astonishing reload rates. Let me just... Look at 1.3 in Italy. Yeah. Uh, France. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Japan. Oh, God. Now, of course, I'm going to do well in this vehicle at 2.0, which is exactly what I'm going to bring it out. But hopefully we can petition to just get this thing a tiny little bit better up in the battle rating and give it some scouting so it's useful for higher BRs, even 3.0. Th Why is this a bloody premium tank? Russia deserves better. Anyway, this thing is bloody awesome and you should definitely give it a shot. Let's take it into battle. Right, abandoned factory. This is kind of where we run into problems. But close quarters were not very good. I think this might be a full down tier, is it? We may have got really lucky. Actually, yeah, yeah, it do, it do be looking like a full down tier, not facing Germany, which is a big sad. That is a problem, especially since last map. God, we are really fast though. Like really fast. If you can imagine the fastest Russian, like passenger car, at the time this was built. It was probably a lot slower than this. This would have been like... 
a UFO in terms of like speed and agility. We, we got here so early. <laughs> right, what are we here to expect? There's a Japanese thing coming. What on earth are you? It's a horrible Italian anti here. I hate those things. More Italy? Oh, that was bad. So was that. That was better. He's gone now. I need to keep watching. Ah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Full France. There's another one there, though. We got so early here, we had to wait like 10 seconds or something to come along. Speed is mere. You won't change your mind. Oh, yes, 42 just got artillery by a teammate. That's that whole road dead that I saw at the very start. We are going to have some pretty angry boys coming along. Hello, Panzer Dak. Our victory is near, it says already. Panzer 38 is already pushing out towards the enemy spawn. Squeezy boy just killed somebody. Uh, getting aggressive in uh, BT is kind of a bad idea. But at the same time, it's just kind of like nothing happening right now. Oh my god. That was a decent shot, honestly. I'm surprised I hit that. What's the other one? I probably shouldn't have had the brakes. I probably should have continued forward. Driver machine gun is good. A terrible turret rotation. Yo. Loads of ammo we can kind of ruin. I keep having this conversation with people who play War Thunder about how much ammo they take. Take take enough that you don't have to worry about firing shots. Like, so many people like too scared. Oh, if I take so much ammo, I'll get ammo right. Be a chad, dude. Bring, bring plenty of ammo with you. Bring enough ammo to kill 20 players and crit things so you don't have to aim for that one shot constantly. Oh, is that another anti-air boy? Yeah, it is. That was artillery, not a tank. I'm gonna move on from here. Yeah, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Most times you get shot and damaged, you're probably gonna be goosed anyway. It doesn't matter. Right, just bring, bring enough for a fight. Right, you're in a war. Technically. Then you can start taking pot shots and planes and doing all sorts of fun stuff. The amount of times that I've got close to getting like maybe like a quadruple ace and I've run out of ammo because I've been like maybe I shouldn't bring that much ammo and then I end up beating myself up about it. Too high. Sure I get ammo rides sometimes but would it, would it have been a big deal if I took lesser ammo? Probably still would have died, right? 100% gonna get shot from this side. I really want to get whatever's on C though. Got a teammate following me. I'm gonna go over here fast. Oh, there's a couple of guys in this warehouse, look. Oh, this transmission. He's got terrible turret rotation speed, this French boy. So we got enough time to sneak up. That wasn't a great shot either. And what was that? Right. We're getting C. But I think there's more over here. I can hear an engine off to the left. Uh -huh. Not good. Might die here. We're good. We're all right. Another one nearby? Yeah, M8's fighting them. You need help, M8? You just call him mate, right? Oh, this is a tough cookie, actually. We wary of that armor. Look how quickly we can react to the battlefield, though. Oh, there's a spot of an enemy off in the distance. 
Dr. Japanese machine. I think the BT7 and BT5 really need to go to higher BRs. You're not going to do this in a Kami. Right? If this thing was 2-3 and had scouting, it would be awesome. Like, that would be fair. Sure, is it going to face Shermans? 3-3 three, three Shermans? Yeah, of course it is. Right? But it shouldn't be facing 1.0 tanks, reserve, reserve tanks. This vehicle. There's already too many BTs. I was hoping to get through this wall a bit <laughs> more energy than I have. Is that sound I'm hearing? Is that just a plane nearby? It might be. Oh, we are in trouble. Oh, he's dead. My teammate was shooting at him, though. There we go. Ouch. He's got good reload. He's got good reload. Got setting fire. It's bad news. Let's see how long this will take us to repair with our orange gunner. A little while. Not too stingy, but we're good. Teammates on beat. Lots of enemies left. Plenty. When did they go around? 14 kills. <laughs> like, what? Other than a Stuart, maybe? I don't think any other tank could do this, other than the BT series. I don't think the extra horsepower is really helping. But at least having a BT, a uh, higher BR with scouting would be really nice. It makes no sense to me this is too old. Another Italian tank is over here. And there's something on A. Just got shot from the front, but I have no idea where it was from. It was a French thing. I'm assuming it was him. Right, off to A we go. He may just kill this guy that was on the cat. Okay, good. Oh, another Italian. I see him, dude. I got him. You can finish him off, take it. There we go. Right. Five enemies left. That was definitely for one of us. Oh yeah, he got the DAC. It is, it is astonishing how quickly we're just getting around here. Enemy caps the point, we will kill him. Then move on to the next one and repeat. Nothing that way. That's friendly. He made decided not to cap A. I think I had a gunfire from the left side. Oops. Almost had a road traffic accident. So fast. <laughs> We're so fast. Nothing here. Chia just killed a teammate near C. And another teammate. Panzer 3B is a sturdy boy, but he's also repairing. They're on C. Let's go. We gotta move. Spare in mind how quickly from A we got. I just heard a cannon from that side as well, though. We may be alright. That's not good. Behind this Connex. Got a load up. Do you want to reverse? He tried. Right. Red engine is bad. Oh, we won the game. Oh, GG. Oh my god. Right, so we are with Germany this time. Which means scary USA. We are at 2.7, I think. 
the good thing about playing a, a BM, sorry, a BT7 is we don't face T50s. Unless it's a mix battle, in which case, yikes. Oh, we will have uh, B1 bis, B1 tear though. Not ideal, as we say. I'm going to go try and cut off people who cross this field to shoot into the top side of our spawn though. That's going to be mad duty. Also, we can shoot people coming across the bridge, which is pretty fun to do. Like this Sark guy. Oh, that's a lot of smoke. I got a hit, but no damage there. Gunner on track. That's a weird combo. Don't see that often. Driver. Oh, terrible shot there. Oh, this is awesome. I feel like this is some historical thing that's happening right now. Oh my goodness. Right, let's check field. Now that bridge is sort of semi-secure. We call this place suicide because that's what it is if you drive out there. Oh, my friend got killed. By what? An Italian thing? Oh my god, the explosions. The... Who I assume was here. I did see some machine gun fire. Or maybe not. He might actually be... Oh, good. Uh, Sweden's are scary. Still nothing there, I don't think. I love this 45. It, it does wonderful things. Wonderful things. I mean, the enemy's got A. But hopefully we can stop their reinforcements for quite a while. We should allow our team to push up. Oh, a, a child. Oh my god, what a shot though. That prediction. I love hitting those ones. How far do you think that was? About 700? I don't, they give me happy drugs, right? It might not have been that impressive to most players, but it was good for me. I'm I'm pleased with myself. Another Sweden. Oh! This man just saved his buddy. Get down, Mr. President moment. That's a fuel tank hit. He's putting his fire out right now, I think. Yeah, he did. Let's keep an eye out here. Oh, he's driving away. Oh, I hit the bridge. Is he backing up? That that did not give me happy drugs. That came close. Commander and loader. Which is his gunner and loader. French boy. Oh god. It's an L3. I got him. It's a bis. No, it's a tear. We need to put this fire out. Right, that we can deal with at range. Something else. Oh, it's the bis. How many things are down here? Here he comes. Alright, our fun is being... Oh, come on. Come on, stick up. Yes, dude. I thought I stick up was going to bomb that B1 for us, then that would have been an epic gamer moment. Only in Battlefield War Thunder. Gotta imagine Battlefield 5 had War Thunder tank mechanics. Oh god. Oh no. Let's try and stay out of the way of him. We are definitely allergic to 50 cows. Is this B1 going to come across or no? Oh. Too high. Oh no. A oh, couple, couple of them. Oh no. That is... I don't have a shot on him. We're gonna have to move forward a little bit. I think he crossed over on another bridge. The, the BTs are so good. This thing should be 2.3 and have scouting. I, I wish it was. I wish it was. Oh, yeah, that's up. That's the B1. Let's fix that red engine. I'm down to two crew now. 22 seconds. That's quite a long time. 
Just missed him. Another IKV. Awesome. An Ico go. I knew I was going to miss that. No. He's got a fast reload. I think we might be dead. Oh, yeah. What a shot, dude. Well done. No. Red breaches. Bad news. Can we get behind this building to repair? The B1's coming. Oh, nice shot as well. This guy. These dudes are like murdering me right now. This is going to be a long repair. 20 odd seconds. 23. Is he going to push me? Our team have A now. And securing it really well. Now, the closer this B1 gets to me, the more likely I am to take it out. And the more likely he is to hit me as well. Enemy aircraft. It's not a danger to me. French. guns aren't powerful enough to kill me or even do damage to my tracks I believe but the B1 is pushing our team are doing such a good job here he comes <laughs> here he comes the, the boss fight is here and he's doing the right thing I've been causing his team some serious issues yeah 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 my track all you like dude I just want you to come up here as close as you can Far too low. Oh, he's dead. I need to remember my reload is going to be crap. And this is a... This is a bis, not a tear. Is he going to stay angled? Let's give him a little bit of track. We are definitely going to die to this thing. He fired his main gun. This hull one. Now, what side are you coming? <laughs> okay. I'm playing Ring of Rosie now. Enemies back on A. Eh? Oh, did not suspect this cheeky Sweden on my left side. I was about to try and shoot this guy's, like, uh, his driver out and his hull gunner. Oh, never mind. Well done, dude. I got outplayed. I got outplayed. <laughs> Those things happen. Right, we are equal ish on points. Well, we're about a thousand up. But it's anyone's game right now. Really, whoever captures A is going to be the victor, I would say. What is going on with this plane over there? He's shooting his gun. The enemy one. I think he's actually flying away. That must be that French thing we saw earlier. Oh, we got a sticker below us. Enemies just killed an AB-43 near the A cap. And our team are going for the cap zone as well. Good stuff. That plane's landing. B1 bis is dead. I don't know if that's our B1 bis though. I'm willing to bet it wasn't. I don't see him. That anti-air just jade out. God, listen to these guns. Oh, he's spawn protected. That's why I can't do him any harm. I'm going to try and fly directly above him. I don't think he has the elevation. And he's not spawn protected now. That spread. 
enemy is being bullied by a Panzer 2C. Wait, what is? Did the Kenny die? He's dead, right? He just didn't look dead, but he's dead. There are three enemies left and one's a plane. Where's that B1? Where's the B1 we had the... The epic... Cat and mouse. Nowhere to be seen. That one's dead. They are dead. A cap's looking very dry. What's our team shooting on? I don't think that's true. I think you're making that up. That there's a Sweden. I, actually, I think this is the guy who killed me, right? Mackenzie? Oh. Big old twin prop. Got him crit. The J2N1. <laughs> I tried to rock him before the time was out. <laughs> nah, it's alright. <laughs> <clears throat> Obviously a very good vehicle and a very fun one to play at that. But the BT-7 and the BT-5 are just as fun to play and just as effective at 2.0. <sighs> so much power, baby. But seriously, can you imagine, like, the horsepower that vehicles that you would take your kids to school at would have compared to this thing back in the day? Holy damn, dude. This thing is, like, honestly, like, a spaceship in comparison to, like, commercial travel back in the day. <laughs> anyway, I would like to thank everyone who's still here. Thank you very much for watching the channel and leaving me re likes, being subscribed and stuff. It really helps a lot. And what does really help a lot is the amount of bloody patrons I have. It is absolutely insane. Your support is much needed and I really, really appreciate it. A big shout out to all of the tier 3 people as well. That's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Stumpin' Bunny, Bill L, Brahma Nation, Sexy, Ethan, Gateway, Houndy, Ian, Justin Darlin, Ken the Salt Lord, Kayla White, Raj Stoyan, The Firepaper, Trash Panda, Useless Tortilla, Vanian, Warpig, Zema, Ollie Fox, Yokbo, Chef, Fearsome Scotsman, Fork, J Tormey, Mr. Buzzwell, and the Taco Guy. If one more person, like, does a tier 3, I will need to switch pages midway while I'm reading this out, so that I can get everyone's name. That is ridiculous. Making these videos for you guys is an absolute pleasure. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye